once airborne. The shuttle carrier aircraft will make a tour around the Space Coast at about an elevation of 1,500 feet off the ground, flying about 210 knots. It will be a majestic sight to see. that this would have uh, taken off by now, but it has not. We should point out that uh, if it all goes as planned, Endeavor is going to go on public display at a museum in Los Angeles at the end of October, and eventually, and this is pretty cool, the ship will be exhibited upright, attached to two actual solid rocket boosters and a giant replica of its external tank, all connected to a partial replica of a launch tower. That is, if they ever get to Los Angeles and take off from... Florida. Yeah, but see, they're going to make all these stops in between. It's going to actually be a three-day trip. Um, so they're going to make stops at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and an assembly facility in New Orleans. And it's going to fly low over Fort Lauderdale so people can see Endeavor. Um, and it rolled out of the assembly plant in California back in 1991 at a cost of $1.7 billion. Some of the most high-profile missions, of course, were flown by this shuttle covering 25 flights, nearly 123 million miles. Looks like a great day down there right now. So obviously weather is not a condition as it was in the last couple of days as to why it didn't take out. Take yeah. off. Uh, weather was a big problem yesterday. That's why they couldn't take off. That's why it's going to wind up in Los Angeles a day later. It's going to wind up uh, landing at LAX on Friday. We heard from our correspondent down in Florida, Steve Harrigan that this thing's going to stop by in uh, El Paso to do some refueling a little later, I believe a little later on today. Yes, Brian, kill me. Uh, Steve, was that my toss? No, not yet. Uh, we're going to stay. Uh, Brian's waiting to do an interview. Something else if you want. We're I mean, told you, by do you want, do shuttle, I'll show you Do shuttles actually off. have takeoff times? Do shuttles have okay. takeoff times? Okay. It's right now. All right, now we'll go. Ladies and gentlemen, final takeoff for the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Let's listen to NASA. And we have first motion. The shuttle carrier aircraft and space shuttle Endeavour beginning to thunder down shuttle landing facility runway 15 heading to the southeast taking to the skies for one last time from Kennedy Space Center. officially at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Space Shuttle Endeavour soaring atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, about to begin a 20-minute flyover of the Space Coast area.
aircraft will remain about 1,500 feet above the ground. Turn toward the coast, conduct a flyover of Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and then head south down the beach. where onlookers are gathered. NASA television will cover this entire uh, flyover as best we can. The shuttle and the shuttle carrier aircraft will head to the south and out of range of our cameras, but then we'll come back toward Kennedy Space Center for one final pass of the shuttle landing facility in about 20 minutes. During this flyover, the shuttle carrier aircraft will continue south along the beach toward Patrick Air Force Station, or Patrick Air Force Base. And then turn inland and fly north over the All right, you've been river. watching the shuttle Endeavour on its final mission here as it Heading makes its three-day journey, at least the start of it. It's going to end up in California. It's going to make some stops in Mississippi, the New Orleans. Along the way, we heard uh, our reporter tell us that Steve Harrigan, that it's going to actually refuel in El Paso, Texas as well. What a beautiful shot. A lot of people down there are watching it live, and we bring it to you live here on the TV screen as well. It sure is pretty. All right, uh, Brian, over to you and a special guest who has been waiting patiently. Right, and uh, fascinating too, Mark Stein's here. He's author of After America, Get Ready for Armageddon. The book's now out of paperback because it sold so well. Mark, you're watching the space